sold out in an arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bad Intention. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Well, wow, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC. Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Straight right hand now just misses. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. That punch, no good. Fighting from both sides, lands in left hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Blocks the shot. So more output, at least in the early going. Straight right hand counter. combination there. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Choi. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. Nice straight punch there. Choi gets caught by that straight punch there. Nice one, two there. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing this whole life. Yeah, and I mean, he's popping over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That's the overhand punch to the head. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Oh, big stick of power. That's another one. Pretty strong jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He gets in a single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Lead kick is true there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, huge left. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Choi gets tattooed by that stiff jab. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice. Keep that pressure high now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, inside kick. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. 
Lunges forward with a left there. Circling to his right. Champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face start as well. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Throwing that jab, no good. 20 seconds to go in round one. Missed with that attempt. Choi's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Round two coming up next. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. The Korean Superboy gets lit up by that straight punch. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Keep that pressure high now. Came of inches right Damn there, boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Just missed with that right hand. Choi's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how the huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Beautiful punch lands there. Able to land the left hand there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. You take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many legs. Both tough. Both durable. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Ah. 
Circling to his right. Oh, that jab. Oh, there it is. oh a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one. And you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this single. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge left. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Lands a big right hand there. Keep going again. Go again. Unable. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, huge legs. Oh, look at that. He can't even stand. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Let's open up that door. Nice kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Choi's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. That's a right hand. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great job. He's in a lot of trouble. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Choi's really making things difficult for the opposition right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that last strike absolutely found the target. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Man, has his chin been tested early. Leg kick lands. Choice being very intentional with his strikes here, targeting that eye that is already swollen on the opposition. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Connected with a solid punch right there. Choi's left calf starting to show signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. And he lands a knee. Well, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as well. Oh! He has to evade Stan's face. MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty. And it is pouring blood now. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, what a roar of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round, and he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, high kick lands flush. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised. Oh, oh he's got him hurt badly now. Oh! Heavy on the cut, heavy on the cut. Oh, nice leg kick. I need you to fight back. And they separate. Nasty body kick downstairs. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Back to the play. Oh, another one. Pretty good jab there by Choi. Just out of range with that left hook. Choi's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just full of blood. Oh, that is a huge shot right there.
right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go. Good punch land. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, switch kick. Nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And this guy has done this technique thousands of times. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. That blood becoming a real factor. Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, 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 oh. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, his misses are out to Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Can't this kind of guy finish to be busy between pucks? He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has got bad, and he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to target him. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Really nice left hand there. to the head. Oh, that's big. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Choi's really bleeding now. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. What a fight. Joy gets caught with that punch. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like that. Right it's disgusting. Right it's like Wolverine's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Oh, big elbow. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight.